हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम योर फ्रेंड चेतन भोला एंड यू आर वाचिंग भोला मैकटेक सो टुडे द टॉपिक दैट यू आर गोना डिस्कस इज अ रियली 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 इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल हैव क्वेरी अबाउट दिस टॉपिक दैट इज चेक इंजन लाइट व्हाई इट इज ब्लिंकिंग एंड वी आर जस्ट गोना डिस्कस द टॉप फाइव मेन कॉजेज ऑफ द ब्लिंकिंग ऑफ दिस लाइट सो प्लीज कीप वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड यू आर गोना लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स अबाउट दिस Check in the light. So, if you didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe here at this moment, and don't forget to share this video to your friends also. So, first of all, have a look of this symbol. This is a symbol of the check engine light. So, what it signifies is that there is some problem inside the hood of the engine. So, it it might be related to the engine. It might not be related to the engine. But yeah. most of the things uh, under the hood of the engine are going to be uh, sending the signals to the ecu and then ecu will decide whether the uh, that sensor or that that object that that component is working properly or not if not then it will just glow the check engine light whenever the check engine light glows it shows that there is some problem inside the engine so please uh, take that car to the garage so that you can just get notified that you have to take you have to take the car to the garage and get it checked but if this symbol starts blinking then the case is crucial you need to take this car urgently to the garage and get it fixed as soon as possible because if you are not going to do this this may harm your engine in other aspects also and it may be quite more costlier to you most of the time when check engine light is glowing it was observed that the pollution level or the exhaust emissions have increased because of not working of the engine properly most of the time this check engine light is related to the o2 sensor the mav sensor iat sensor those those sensors which are a very much used inside the engine so as to control the combustion how the combustion is taking place inside the engine so whenever these sensors are not working properly so engine is not going to have the most efficient combustion and that's why it is creating much more harmful exhaust gases so that's why it is environment hazardous also so please keep uh, keep an eye on this symbol and take it to the garage prior to 1996 each and every car maker have its own onboard diagnostic system but later on uh, uh, there is there is some protocol came that is obd2 so they standardize all of the obd and then you can take the car to any of the diagnostic service and just get your car diagnosed so now before that they are having different different ports for different different car so that you cannot take your car to some some other place and get it checked but later on the the port has been standardized and uh, now each and every person can get it checked now the obd has become quite easier to to diagnose your car you can you can have your own devices at home uh, these devices are not that much expensive and not that much cheaper also but you can get them as a cheaper uh, the quality depends and how uh, what is the interface of that device depends but yes it is now has become very much cheaper and you can just easily get it checked or you can easily use the, uh, that device at home also i want to show you this is the device uh, you can easily buy on the amazon it is just 575 rupees and uh, 575 rupees for a scan for the scanning of whole system is not that is is worth it in that case you are not getting the interface of the display you are just plugging that uh, that device into the on obd port and then you will be having an app on your phone and you can connect that device to the to your phone via bluetooth and then you can just check different different sensors whether they are working properly or not and uh, which which of the sensor is not working you can just uh, calibrate it over here and just uh, get it done and get it fixed and uh, if still the engine uh, engine check light is not going off then you can then you need to take that car to the mechanic also you can take that car to the mechanic also and just tell him that uh, this sensor is not not working then he can easily change that sensor or he can easily repair that sensor now coming to the top 5 causes of the of the glowing of this check engine light the top 5 reasons might be 
first of all the most of the time that occur is the o2 sensor replacement uh, because most of the time the o2 sensor get covered with the pollutants that are coming out of the exhaust gases and due to which it is not able to calibrate or it, it is not able to cal measure the amount of the oxygen level inside the exhaust gases and hence it is not working properly you can watch a video on the auto sensor so as to understand it much better way so that's why it is not getting the exact value and not send it not able to send the exact value to the ECU that's why it it needs some uh, replacement or it, it it can be repaired if it can be repaired that's much better another thing can be as simple as the opening of the uh, fuel tank fuel tank lid if the lid is not uh, closed completely if it is not tightened completely then also the engine might uh, the engine check light might, might be glowing so you need to check that also another th another thing is that the catalytic converter might not be working properly uh, because the o2 sensors are uh, placed before and after the catalytic converter so if there is no change in the oxygen level then then a catalytic converter might not be working properly so that's why it it might be need needed to be replaced so this is the costlier uh, replacement or the costlier uh, function of this uh, costlier uh, costlier uh, costlier so this is the costlier replacement of this catalytic converter now another thing is map sensor might not be working this is also a very often found uh, reason for this uh, check engine light glowing another thing is spark plug not working or there must be clogging of the spark plug or it, there might be fault on the spark plug cables also so you need to check those also uh, if you can uh, if you the engine check light is glowing so these are the top five reasons that are mostly found whenever the engine check light is glowing so please get if you are not having a sensor at home so you can get them checked i think you got to learn a lot of things about the engine check light if you like this video please share it to your friends if you have any doubts and any queries you can please feel free to ask, ask me in the comment section below if you have any suggestions for me please left them in the comment section i will just consider them as soon as possible please share this video to your friends also if you didn't like this video please let me know how i can improve myself thanks a lot guys for watching keep watching keep sharing and keep supporting guys